Okay, in this section we're going to look at ways of making it easier for you to get in and out of a chair. The first thing getting in and out of your chair is the actual height of the furniture. The most modern sofas and chairs are in fact quite low and quite deep in the seat, so that does make it more difficult. How do you know that a chair is the right height? Well, ideally your knee and your hips should be in line, so your thigh should be flat, should all be level. If you look at you in this instance, Brenda, your knees are actually higher than your hips, so it would suggest that the chair is actually a little too low for you. If you want to try and get out of that, we'll show you the best method, and that is to get your bottom closer towards the edge of the chair, make sure that your feet are firmly placed, slightly apart, with one foot slightly in front of the other. If you lead up with your head, and if your chair has arms, just push up from those. Okay. So that's showing it from a chair which is slightly too low. We'd like to move across. We have a chair here, the same chair, which has been raised. So you can see straight away as you sit down from that, you're really now in a more ideal sitting position. Your posture is far better, which will help to alleviate back discomfort. Your feet are firmly on the ground. And most importantly, for getting in and out, your knees and your hips are now in line with each other. So again, same technique, pushing up. And I think you'll agree, Brenda, that's mm -hmm. far easier. Okay, so this chair, you can see, has been fitted with uh, proper chair raisers. These are made for this purpose. What you don't want to do is put blocks under your chair because this will affect the stability of the chair and the safety. It's not unusual in that circumstance for the chair to topple off of blocks. So always use some of the chair raisers that are available on the market. And again, if you need advice to make sure that you're getting the right one for your individual chair or sofa.